So what is an arithmetic progression? The first type of progression or the pattern which we are going to study. So what is an arithmetic progression is the biggest question out here. So an arithmetic progression is a pattern in which a fixed number is always added to each of the terms. So therefore to understand this more clearly let's take the definition a pattern which has fixed element added to each of its term is called an arithmetic progression. So what do you understand by a pattern which has fixed element? Now this is a very important role which plays in arithmetic progression. So pattern which has fixed element which added to each of its term. Let's see with an example. For example, I take a pattern 1, 5, 9, 13, etc. This example has already been discussed where let's again revisit the same example problem. Now if I take the pattern 1, 5, 9, 13, 17, in this case, what is the fixed element which is added? Now as I see here, let me rearrange so that my first term is 1, but my second term is obtained by adding 4 to the previous term, by adding 4 to the previous term. Next, my 9 is obtained by adding 4 to the next previous term which is this. So this is added here and this is added to this and next 9 plus 4 will give me 13 and 13 plus 4 will give me 17 and 17 plus 4 will give me 17 etc. That means as I see here this is reduced to this form where 5 is written as 1 plus 4, 9 is written as 5 plus 4, 13 as 9 plus 4, 17 as 13 plus 4, which makes me understand that every element is obtained by adding 4 to the previous term. 5 plus 4 gives 9, 9 plus 4 gives 13, 13 plus 4 gives 17, 17 plus 4 gives 21, 21 plus 4 gives 25, is how we get. Here, this strictly follows the definition that this is a pattern which has fixed element, which is 4, added to each of its term. Now in case of this example problem, I see that the fixed element 4 is added to each of the term of the given progression or a pattern. Therefore this kind of sequence where a fixed element is added to each of the terms is called an arithmetic progression as given by the definition. The fixed element here is 4 is what we identify in an arithmetic progression this being one of the example let me take one more example <coughs> is this an arithmetic progression is the question out here yes it is because every element is obtained by adding the fixed element 0 to the previous term Therefore, here the fixed element is 0, which gives me 7 plus 0 as 7. So, because I can add the fixed element 0, I say this is an arithmetic progression and this is also an arithmetic progression. The only restriction out here is that fixed element must be added to each of its term. You need to identify a fixed element added in each of its term. Fixed element added in each of its term is how we identify the arithmetic progression in its own definition. Now, let's see the general form of representing the arithmetic progression. Now that we have defined how, what kind of a pattern makes an arithmetic progression, now next comes with the concept on how we can solve many of the problems involving arithmetic progression. Now in that case, initially I start with the general form of representing and arithmetic rep progression. 
So the general form of representation of arithmetic progression is done generally by taking in the form A. Now because the pattern says that there is a fixed element added to each of its term, let me take the fixed element as D. So I take the fixed element which is added to each of the terms as A plus D and A plus D plus D because the, it is added to this and this becomes A plus 2D plus D is how I get the pattern because every time I add D to the previous term because A plus D plus D is A plus 2D and I get like this so that this on further more modification gives me A a plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, A plus 4D, and so on and so forth, is how we get the pattern. But it cannot have infinitely many terms because if I say it is the first n terms, then it reduces to A plus n minus 1 into D. The reason being that my second term has 1D, my third term, first, second, third term has 2D, 1 less of 3, my 4th term has 3, 1 less of 4, 5th term has 4, so my nth term has n minus 1, 1 less than n. So therefore, my nth term would be a plus n minus 1 times of d, following with the pattern, is how we get this general form. This is called the general form of representing the arithmetic progression. So this is the general form of representing the arithmetic progression where a is called the first term and d is called the common difference because every time you take the difference i get d the difference of this is d the difference of this is d the difference of this is d and the difference of this is d so on and so forth i get a common difference every time the difference is always same Therefore, D is called the common difference for the given arithmetic sequence. Is how we identify each of them. Now, in this case, my first term is denoted generally with A1. That means the first term is A, which is A1 equal to A. Similarly, my second term of the arithmetic progression in general is denoted with A2. And A2 stands for second term. Therefore, the second term, first and second term is A plus D. Therefore, my A2 is A plus D. And similarly, my third term, A3, will be A plus 2D. Therefore, the third term, A3, is A plus 2D. And similarly, my fourth term, A4, is A plus 3D. And so on, my N minus 1th term, denoted by a n minus 1 will be a plus n minus 2 times d because my nth term is n minus 1 d so my n minus 1 term is n minus 2 d plus a of course denoted by a minus 1 so finally my last term which is the nth term is a n equals a plus n minus 1 times d is how we identify the formula in general. The nth term is a n equals a plus n minus 1 times d. The first term is a, the common difference is d, the nth term is this. So the general form of arithmetic progression is denoted by a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, so on and so forth, till a plus n minus 1d, where a is the first term, d is the common difference. And a plus n minus 1d denoted by a n is the nth term, is how we understand the arithmetic progression through the basic formula. Now here the common difference d is generally the difference of the term minus its previous term because if I wanted to get d, a plus 3d minus a plus 2d gives me d and this minus this gives me d or this minus this gives me d or this minus this gives me d which makes me understand that the common difference d is given by the formula nth term minus its previous nth term that is a n minus 1 
is how we identify the formula of D. The common difference is given as the term minus its previous term. can also be read as term minus previous term or immediate previous term. The successive previous term is how I get the formula for the common difference.